So let's look at the last part here. Use vector product to find the area of PQM. Uh, PQM would then be... Where's PQM? PQM. <laughs> where's PQM? Okay, we have M, we have PQ and M. Okay, okay I, I got Q, I got M. Okay, I think it's a pretty okay question here. It's not like... Because we have all the position vector of PQM. Same thing. Try not to visualize from this cuboid. It's going to be very confusing what you actually need... Uh, are uh, just the three points so i'm just going to list down the three points out so here i what i need is three points pqm so i have m uh, i've got q and m so uh, m is half something let me check m is actually half 6a 6a 2a and 6a 2a and a okay so 6a 2a 6a, 2a, and a. Okay, great. Then we have got P. <clears throat> Where's our P? P is actually... Um, <laughs> P is a, 2a, and a. So a, a, 2a, and a. Okay. a, 2a, and a. Then after which we got um, P, P, Q, M. So I need Q. Q is 3a. Uh, 0, 0, 3a. So Q is actually just 0, 0, 3a here. Am I right? Uh, no, I'm not. My uh, A over 3. Okay, A over 3. Okay, great. So, area of this area of uh, of triangle, PQM, uh, you can take any adjacent side and cross them. So, it could be PM cross with PQ or it could be half uh, MP cross with MQ. Or it could be uh, QM cross with Q uh, P. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. You should get the same answer. It really doesn't matter. So uh, typically what I'll do is I'm just going to randomly pick a number up. Pick pick one of it. Okay. I'm just going to use Google number random generator. So here, what I'm going to do is actually just... <laughs> Well, one, two, three. I'm going to randomize it, just generate, and uh, pick the first equation. So I'm going to use this, okay? Uh, it really doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, so I'm going to find PM, PQ. PM will just M minus Q. So this will just be uh, 3A, A, and half A. Minus A, 2A, A. That will give us... Um, 2a minus a and minus half a, which we already found just now, I believe. Then uh, we have got pq. pq would be pq would be um, q minus p is minus a minus 2a and minus 2 third a. Okay, so the area area of the C minus 2A, what I'm going to say, area of triangle PQM is half. PM, so it's a 2A minus A minus half A cross with minus A minus A minus 2 third A. You can actually just take the positive side, uh, even though it's very unsightly, right? So you can actually just change all this to positive. Uh, but, but what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to uh, factorize the A out. Because A is very annoying. So uh, let's say this is A. A is a constant, right? So there you go. And this will just be A as well. This is uh, A. It is minus 1, minus 2, minus 2 third. Okay. As such. So this A and this A are constant. So you can just bring it out. So this is A square over 2. Ultimately, what is minus 1, minus half? cross with minus one minus two minus two third okay there you go so you're just going to perform um a cross product here so we're just going to perform it and what we'll get here is actually just a square uh just be careful this is minus one over three and the subsequent one will be 11 over six and the last one will be negative five okay always check before you move on so like, uh, so I I am going to just, yeah, so there you go. So this case here is a square over 2. 
you just need to double check okay cross product is a pain it's really a pain so king calculator this is uh, 1 over 9 1 over 9 plus 11 over 6 square plus 25 that will be very nice number here this is 1025 divided by 36 uh, this will just be similar with what we did just now so square root 36 is just 6 1025 can be divided by 25 which is 25 and 41 so this case here will give us a square 2 times uh, 5 over 6 times square 41 so that will give us a uh, 5 a square over 12 square 41 square units wow okay it's just very tedious because you have unknown involved in it but if you have any question or comments please let us know keep practicing and i'll see you in the next question